Excellent. So, uh, good morning or good afternoon, uh, depending where you are. My name is uh, Guillaume de Valicourt. First of all, I really want to thank the organizer for the invitation. It's a great pleasure to be here, and it's a great pleasure to uh, present what we have been doing uh, at uh, Newbies Communication. So uh, it's a little bit um, different that's a free space communication, but I'm going to show uh, ultra dense, low power, very compact optical engine, which can generate and receive 1.6 terabit per second. So uh, about Nubis first, um, we really started to develop this technology for the machine learning and AI markets as we saw a huge change in uh, the compute hardware that is needed. And you know, there is a lot of buzz about uh, ChatGPT, all these new uh, uh, models that need to be trained and you need more and more hardware to do this. And more compute power will also mean more entire connectivity. So you, you need a smaller, more compact, low power consumption optic. Is that what we decide to develop at Nubis? So we, we really optimize our optics to be uh, ultra scalable, very compact. It can be placed in a very uh, tiny space and with a very uh, ultra low power consumption. So uh, it is a 1.6 uh, bidirectional optical engine, fully integrated. At Nubis, we design our own uh, silicon photonic. We design our own uh, analog IC, uh, our own high-speed substrate, the all fiber coupling to the chip and the whole package. And uh, as I mentioned, we were first targeting uh, the ML and AI markets, but uh, it's so compact and so low power consumption that actually this technology could be used in uh, all different embedded system. It could be used, for example, as mobile, as we say, to connect the tower or in aerospace, or yes, all different embedded system. Uh, so we are a three years old company. Uh, now we are about uh, uh, a little bit more than 40 people and we are, have raised uh, 50 uh, million dollars in funding. And uh, right now we are having quite a strong customer uh, support and we are, uh, as we speak, doing trial with several customers to test this technology. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned, the uh, hardware for AI is changing. We need more uh, uh, compute power, meaning increasing the bandwidth of the GPU, but also we have larger uh, GPU to GPU cluster. And that means we need more interconnectivity. However, up to now, uh, the traditional optics is designed in a way that usually you have your electrical brain power, the switch ASIC, and then this is connected through a PCB to a pluggable optics. And this pluggable optics inside has its own DSP. So uh, if you really want to save power and the cost, uh, you want to remove this uh, second DSP inside the pluggable. And also the form factor of the pluggable itself start to be a limiting factor for this new AI system. So what we propose is uh, we propose uh, this new optical solution uh, which is a very high uh, dense uh, integration between the optics and the electronics, and where we completely remove the DSP from the module, and now we fully utilize the host ASIC. And to show you an example, for example, here I have a, a classic QSFP type of package, and this is our solution. As you can see, the form factor is very different uh, of the two solutions. Okay, so uh, the whole idea here is now to make optics looks like copper. So we don't have any more a DSP that is going to retime or reshape our signal before we drive our optics. So when you design our optics, you need to take the whole link into account. So you cannot just optimize your, uh, your optics with a perfect signal, as I mentioned, but you optimize the full channel. So you need to co-design the optics and electronics. There is not a lot of tools that allow to do this. So in Nubis, we have uh, developed our own simulator to uh, develop a full end-to-end -end, uh, E to O to E channel. And uh, we're trying to, uh, how to design the different building blocks. So we made the optics looks like as much as linear as possible. And that, includes, uh, that is included in the design of the driver plus modulator, but also on the receiver size. And so far we use a single uh, wavelength device. And uh, here's the idea, we saw a very good talk for COM laser, and that would be very interesting in the future for us to look at it. But at the beginning, we wanted uh, by design a uh, single wavelengths to avoid all WDM components in the silicon photonic. So we don't need all active 
uh, tracking of the wavelengths uh, of the wavelength drift, or even like passive components in WDM silicon photonic are pretty uh, hard to do, and to have a good distribution across all wafer and lot. So this is our uh, module. So it's 1.5 uh, centimeter, it's a square, 1.5 centimeter squared each side. He, he, um, he emits uh, 1.6 terabit, receive 1.6 terabit. The total power consumption is six watts, so three picojoule per bit. It's a very, very high density, as you can see from uh, the form factor. Uh, we test it with uh, Ethernet uh, standard test equipment. He, he work with it, uh, and also with PCI uh, Express, for example, protocol. So he's agnostic to both. And the transmission distance is up to two kilometers. Uh, so far, this package does not include the laser. We uh, decide to have an external line laser. This, again, is by choice. Uh, as we mentioned, um, I mean, those guys uh, go, uh, are going to be very close to a ASIC switch or a big compute power. So it's going to be pretty hot. We don't have any problem with the silicon, silicon photonic analysis, but laser will be the first, first to fail. So we decide to have an external laser that can be put in a more controlled environment. So, uh, so those uh, devices are more robust. Okay, so in summary, uh, we believe 100 gig per channel, uh, it's a sweet spot to shift to our optics as copper start to reach uh, its limit. And we believe uh, with this uh, ML AI market, uh, we, will have, uh, we will have a huge impact on uh, the compute markets, and we will see uh, uh, optics replacing copper. Uh, optics need to be designed a different way when you, uh, you go, uh, go uh, DSP-less. And um, so that means you need to closer design the, uh, the system with the host ASIC or the CPU and have a full simulation of the whole link. In order to meet this form factor, we need really high density. So we use silicon photonic, we use stack die assembly, so dies on top of each other. And we all also use 2D fiber array to have a very compact uh, optical connection. And uh, by removing the DSP, we have a low power and low latency uh, device. So Nubis is trying to lead the way to the shift to high density optical and connect. So thank you very much for your attention.